Welcome to the Amazing Race, Mormon Edition. Today you will work with your team in a series of tasks that will test your physical, spiritual, and service abilities. You could be trying new things, making new friendships, and developing your talents. One team will also take home first place. Your ward has formed you into teams. Stay together throughout the activity and carpool where possible. Remember to include all members of your team, especially if you have children in your team. The tasks you are about to accomplish have been designed to accommodate everyone of all ages. Your team has been assigned a color, red, yellow, or blue. When you arrive at a new location, watch for balloons in your color so you know where to go. There are three legs to the race, spiritual, athletic, and service. Each ward and team has been assigned a different time to participate in that element of the race. Leg 1 will go from 9.45 until 10.15. During that time you will have a series of tasks to complete for points. You will then have 15 minutes to arrive at your next location. Please remember, do not speed. I repeat, please do not speed when traveling. Obey the laws of the land. Leg 2 will start at 10.30 and go until 11 a.m. At 11 o'clock you will then have 15 minutes to travel to the third leg of the race. Again, do not speed. The third leg will go from 11.15 until 11.45 a.m. The picnic will then begin 15 minutes later at noon. So, how does this work? At registration, your team captain was given a packet of information. Inside, you will find an envelope for each leg of the race. Do not open them until the time designated on the envelope. At the designated time, open the leg envelope. Inside, you will find the instructions and scorecards for that leg. Each leg has a scorecard where you will keep track of your points. You will tally these up at the end to get your team's total points. The team at the end with the most points will get first place. Be sure to carefully follow the instructions in and on each envelope. Failure to follow directions may result in losing points rather than earning them. The instructions will tell you where to go next and what activities you need to complete during that leg. Some activities, especially during spiritual and service, require your time and thought a little more than others. Don't give poor quality work, or you will be docked points. Give each activity the time and attention it deserves. Team captains are also in charge of making sure points are recorded for each activity. They may delegate this task to a team member if they so choose. Team captains should also make sure that all team members get a chance to participate, and not just a few people repeatedly doing all the activities. Team captains should also keep track of the time, and be sure your team wraps up activities at the appropriate time. For each task you complete, take a picture of the person completing the task. Then text or email that picture to win at stakerace.com. Be sure that your pictures are appropriate, because there's a good chance a lot of people will see that picture you sent. You should have been informed by your ward previously what service project you will be doing. If you do not know yet, you will need to find a member of your bishopric or ward council to find out what service project your team has been assigned. The stake picnic begins at noon at Kumulin Park in Post Falls. To get there, head south on Spokem Street and cross over the river. It will be right there on the right-hand side. Parking is free for the event today. When you get to the pavilion, there will be designated areas for you to put your assigned potluck contribution. If you bring any utensils, pots, pans or bowls, be sure to pick it up by 2 p.m. or it will be donated to Goodwill. Your team's scorecards are due at 12.15 and there will be a table at the picnic for you to turn in your packet. 
The awards ceremony will begin at 12.30. That's a lot to take in, so let's do a quick overview. Open your envelopes only at the designated times. Complete the activities on your scorecard. Send pictures of your team completing the tasks to win at stakerace.com. Record your points as you complete the act of eats, and follow the directions exactly. Tally up your points and turn in your scorecards by 12.15. And most of all, have fun! We will now take a few minutes for any questions you might have. Please be reverent while we take questions and exit for the race. Remember, we are in the chapel. Welcome to the Amazing Race, Mormon Edition. Who will be eliminated? Who will win? We can't wait to find out. The world is waiting for you. Good luck. Travel safe. Go.